Hey, Barbie. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't know that that was a lot of enthusiasm, but uh, I am super stoked that this is finally out and we can rent this and I can watch this. I lied. I didn't rent this. I bought the movie blind based off of just sheer excitement. This is Barbie. And of course, I made Andrew dress appropriately and we have some toys. Shasha, super excited for this movie, you guys. And also like, wow, it's been doing numbers at the box office. It's wild, a billion, over a billion dollars. More than the Dark Knight, amazing. That is the power of Barbie. I was expecting it to make a money, but not this amount. So uh, amazing feat. And I'm very excited to get to react to it with the, one of the biggest Barbie fans I know. I was a pretty big Barbie fan. I only had like 20 Barbies. I know some people had a lot more, but 20, that's like a reasonable number for a girl child to have. But yes, yeah, super excited. I hope you guys are as well. If you want to watch the entire reaction, the entire movie along with us without any cuts or interruptions, you know what to do. Join our Patreon or become a member right here on our YouTube channel. Just so that you know and that it's clear, you will need to have your own copy of the movie though in order to watch along with us. But we do make it really easy for you to sync. And then it's like you're watching it with the both of us in real time. I cannot wait. And please don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon all notifications and upvote this video if you are enjoying the content all right let's go that's ah, just the sunrise oh oh is this since the one the beginning of time yep since the first little girl ever existed there have been dolls hmm. yep this continued until yes Is it looks is it a mannequin? Yeah. Oh. oh. Woo. <laughs> Attack of the fifty foot Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, baby. Yes, Barbie changed everything. I love how they've got her look spot on. And Barbie is all of these women. Yes. Yep. Thanks to Barbie, all problems of feminism and equal rights have been solved. <laughs> Thank you, Barbie. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. So sparkly. <laughs> you think this is an actual location or is that a green screen? I think they used mostly practical. Well, let's not show Mitch, actually. She was discontinued by Mattel because a pregnant doll is just too weird. Mitch was my favorite! But Ken only has a great day if Barbie looks at him. Aw, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Oh, hi, Alan. <laughs> there are no multiples of Alan. He's just Alan. Yeah. He's just confused Alan. About that. Yeah, I'm confused I never, too. I never knew who Alan was. I know Ken and Barbie are. All right, Ken. We believe in you, Ken. What? Ow. <gasps> Oh, make sure he's okay. <laughs> I love the colors. I know. It's so cute. Oh my god. Ambulance Barbie? Absolutely. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned. Just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. Oh my god, yes. So Bye. cool. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, nothing big planned. No, just some choreography. It's chill. It is the best day ever, and so is yesterday, and so is tomorrow. Yeah. 
every day. Do you guys ever think about dying? <laughs> Uh, you just casually drop that into the conversation. <laughs> I'm just dying to dance. <laughs> now I know never ever say that at a party. <laughs> Depends what party you're at. Right, right. Oh. Oh, what happened? She now wake up with the same cheery attitude? No. Come on, Barbie, let's run towards the water. Okay. Okay. Oh, her feet are gonna get flat. No! Oh no! What's going on? Oh, my feet! Uh-oh. My heels are on the ground. I'm no longer on tiptoes. That's okay, let me see. <gasps> you know, you're gonna have to visit Weird Barbie. I have never had to visit Weird Barbie. I want to see Weird Barbie. What can I do you for? I just had to come see you about my feet. Oh! <laughs> yeah, what preceded this? Oh, nothing. A really fun game of volleyball. That's it. Thoughts of death. <gasps> Maybe some thoughts of death? Thoughts of death? Is that a problem? Oh. What? I've heard of this. Of course, I didn't think it was possible. But it's real. Oh. You've opened a portal. That is the membrane between Barbie land and the real world. And if you want to be stereotypical Barbie perfect again, then baby girl, you got to go fix it. Uh. You have to go to the real world. Okay and you have to find the girl who's playing with you. There's the girl and the doll, and never the twain shall cross. Uh-huh. The girl who's playing with you, she must be sad, and her thoughts and feelings and humanness are interfering with your dullness. Oh. Why would she be sad? Yeah. This is an interesting concept. Send me through the portal. Okay, there's actually no portal. It's a oh. figure of speech. It's actually a sports car to a speedboat to a rocket ship to a tandem bike to a camper van fun to a snowmobile. Oh my god, all the things. I'll bet every woman will say thank you and give you a really big hug. <laughs> yes, you're right. Here I go. Bye. Yay. Bye, Barbie. Bye, Barbie. Bye. Aw. Oh. Good luck in reality. <laughs> Good luck in reality. <laughs> I went to the mountains. I looked to the Their car is so slow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <Whoa. laughs> Nicely oh, that was cute. done. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. No. Please get out. What if there's beach? You'll need someone who's a professional in that. Yeah, Beach Ken. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. <laughs> Those are awesome rollerblades. I want a pair. Okay. Wow. <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. No. no. <laughs> and so Bobby and Ken set off on their adventure to the real world. I love that they've got different outfits for each thing as well. Yeah. Uh. Oh, rollerblades. Here we go. Venice Beach. They've made it. I told you there'd be beach. <laughs> oh, no. Stop looking at her like that. <laughs> Guys, they look great. Everything's almost like reversed here. Yeah. Oh, Ken likes it, huh? Uh, yeah, you can see the smirk. Maybe you are an I can see myself in your shorts. I don't know exactly what you meant with all of those little quips, but I'm picking up on some sort of entendre, and I would just like to inform you, I do not have a vagina. <laughs> you does not have a penis. We don't have genitals. That's okay. Yeah, yeah whatever. It's, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Whoa! Hey, he... He, he he touched her first. That was just self-defense. I know. 
Oh my god. Great. <laughs> I love fridge. <laughs> you guys gotta pay for that stuff. Oh no, are they gonna go to jail again? Ah! Because you can imagine all. You know what? Keep them. Weird Barbie said I would How did they get bailed out if they don't have money? I have no idea. It's Barbie. Know. Go with it. Who is playing with me? The faster I figure it out, the faster we get to go home. What am I supposed to do? Can. Go for a walk or something. By myself? Yes. Really? Where? Anywhere! Can I go that way? Yes. Oh my gosh, Ken, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like a gym. Yes. Dang, hey, it's like a gym with all the buffest people in LA. He's rocky. A horse. <laughs> Men on horses. Oh, here we go. Oh, the girl is playing with her. Oh, she's getting older. Oh. Just not into dolls anymore. Oh, she gave away Barbie. Oh, the girl is the mom? It looked like they kept the doll, though, and got rid of the other yeah, ones, Yeah, they right? got rid of yeah. the other ones. You're so beautiful. Yeah. Oh. I know it. <laughs> Mattel. Oh, boy. Uh, Again, I really love the meta-ness of it. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh, hi, Aaron. New drawings? Yeah, I just started drawing these weird designs. These are different. It's irrepressible thoughts of death, Barbie. <laughs> Crippling shame, Barbie. Okay, listen, I have to speak to the top brass. No. I must. No. I'm going to. Eric, uh. they're in a big corporate idea set. She wasn't the mom that was in the car we that's, couldn't see. That's you. what I'm thinking. Oh. I mean, just because the hair was straight in the back of that, I couldn't tell. I think you're going to want to hear this, sir. Can you just email it and you can send it to me EOD? End of day. <laughs> My favorite. May I put it in a whisper, <laughs> sir? Can I put Fine, it in a whisper? whisper. <laughs> I've never heard that. Can I put it in a whisper? No. No, no, no. Ah. Ah. no one rests until this doll is back in a box. What's that girl's name? That's Sasha. Hey, Sasha. Don't talk to her. Oh, Sasha fine. can talk to you, but you can never talk to Sasha. She'll crush you. Why? Everyone really likes me and thinks I'm cool and pretty. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Must be nice. Hey, ladies. Sasha, what's up? <laughs> oh, no. This is going to go so well. <laughs> we haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Yeah, I hated dolls with hair. I mean, I played with Barbie, but it was like the last resort. I loved Barbie. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Peer pressure. And until you showed up here and declared yourself Barbie, I hadn't thought about you in years, you fascist. Wow. It was really nice talking to you. Aw, I mean, both things are true. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, do you have the time? You respect me. <laughs> Why didn't Barbie tell me about patriarchy? Which, to my understanding, is where men and horses run everything? Uh -huh. You want to be a lifeguard? I'm trained to stand confidently right here. There's nobody in danger here. And even if there were, I'm not trained to save them. <laughs> then I can't hire you. I can't even beat you! Oh. <laughs> Sucks when your dreams are shattered. I need to find somewhere where I can start patriarchy fresh. <laughs> ah! Where? Mattel! Miss Barbie? Who are you? We're Mattel. Mattel? Mattel. Oh, everyone thinks I'm crazy and I keep getting arrested. You need to step this way, ma'am. I also just learned to cry. First I got one tear and then I got a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. I'll go back to Barbie land and I'll tell the Kens what I've learned. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> okay. Back to Barbie Let's land. Let's go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bunny Boo. Yep. yep. All right. Thank God they arrested that nut job. 
uh, and that reality challenged women. She thinks she's Barbie. Wait, what did you say? She thinks she's Barbie. Go help her. Get into the box and you'll go back to Barbie land and everything will be as it was. You know what? We should probably get Ken first. <laughs> <laughs> Ken <laughs> isn't something we're worried about. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, before I get in the box, could I just run to the restroom and make sure my hair is perfect? It's just down the hallway. Thank you. On the right. All right, Barbie, leave! I guess she really had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> she going all the way down? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. How do Just we... looking down that room makes me yeah. dizzy. Stairs. What is this room? Who are you? Oh no. Uh, if you go through that closet, you'll find a stairwell down to the lobby. Okay. I really want to know who she <laughs> is though. Thank you. Um, Ruth. Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. Does that ring a bell? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, guys. <laughs> That's Get in. Yes, the connection. So, I've been a little lonely lately, and I found those Barbies we used to play with. We gave those away. So I started playing with them and making drawings like we used to do, remember? Because I thought it would be joyful. Was it? No, it wasn't. Oh. Aww. Did any of these drawings by chance have thoughts of death and cellulite? Yes! <laughs> thoughts of death Barbie! Oh my god! And cellulite! <gasps> <gasps> I came, came for you! you. Uh -huh. Hello? 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 Oh my Are god. Are you two like shining? <laughs> so listen, I'm just a boring mom with a boring job and a daughter who hates me. Can you blame me for wanting to have a little fun? No, I don't blame you. I gotta lose these chuckleheads. Uh, All right, hey, let's you're go. In, you're in a chase now, so I guess that's kind of fun. You look so pretty. Don't look at me. Okay, sorry. Oh, she really is a good mom. Oh God, are they gonna come back? Wait, I have an idea. Can you get us to Venice Beach? Sure can. I love Rollerblades. How did she Where get three? Barbie Land. What? Oh, yay. Here we go. Come on and feel the magic. Oh. Where are we? How did we get into these clothes? How did we get into this vehicle? <laughs> I can practically feel my heels lifting already. Yes. Oh. That's strange. What? Oh, oh no, no. the having, patriarchy. Yeah, he's having an influence there because he's, uh, from what he's learned on, uh, in L.A. That's our president with the beer and the cheering squad is the Supreme Court. This is so much better than being president. Uh, John Cena? Oh, okay. I can have a brewski beer. My big guy's thirsty. It's easier to stay in shape when there's nothing in the beer. What have you done? What are you wearing? Don't question it. Just roll with it, tiny baby. Uh, you need to stop that. This is my dream house. It's mine. No, this is no longer Barbie's dream house. This shall henceforth be known as Ken's Mojo Dojo Casa House. Wow. Buckle up, babe. <laughs> because Barbie Land is now Ken Land. And it's going to be just like Century City in Los Angeles no. because they had it all figured out <laughs> yeah. in Century City. Yeah, we have it all figured out in Century City. The Nobel Prize in horses goes to... Uh. And now you're making it permanent with a special election to change the Constitution. It's evil world ruled by men. Every man's voice now. Oh, God. Aww. So that's what this is about, Ken Payback? Maybe we just need to, like, find a happy medium. Yeah, seriously. So you're just going to give up? Yes. <laughs> you know, I almost feel bad for you, but you are exactly what I thought you were. This is the lowest I've ever been. Mm. Emotionally and physically. 
It's only gonna get better from here. Come on. It can only get better. <laughs> oh, they're singing together. Broadcast to bring you our new radio station, only playing Ken's favorite song. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> I like this song. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Alan. Oh, you are Alan. That's great. <laughs> hey, you there. What, what do we do? Uh -oh. Just get in the car and keep it singing. Hey, man. Be ready for anything. Who are you? Wait, are those the same construction workers? Yeah, all this close to me. No, no, they're just Ken's. Oh, Alan! Secret Alan is a kung fu master. Oh no. What are you doing? We gotta go. We have to go back. Wait, you hate Barbie! But you don't. You've always believed in what she could be. Aww. I'm the one who ruined Barbie Land with my stupid drawings in the first place. They're not stupid, they're amazing. Yeah. You like my drawings? They're weird and dark and crazy. They're edgy. I'm weird and I'm dark and I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see this coming with Alan. No. <laughs> but I like it. Get out of here right now. Shut up, Alan. We're going back. Let's go get my doll. <laughs> yes, let's go. <gasps> Why didn't the brainwashing work on you? My exposure to the real world must have made me immune. Either you're brainwashed or you're weird and ugly. There is no in between. Sing it, sister. <laughs> <laughs> 48 hours, Barbie Land becomes Kenland. Oh, no. At the top of these stairs. The Kens. They found us. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> ah, she's very limber. <gasps> I'm Weird Barbie, I am in the splits, I have a funky haircut, and I smell like basement. <laughs> Little Weird Barbie! Yeah, you did. You make some weird by playing too hard. It's cool. <laughs> I'm not stereotypical Barbie pretty. Note to the filmmakers, Margot Robbie is the wrong person to cast if you want to make this point. <laughs> we have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. <laughs> You have to be thin, but not too thin. Mm -hmm. You have to be a career woman, but also always be looking out for other people. And nobody gives you a medal or says, thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. A hell of a monologue. Yeah. We have to stop the Kens. And you need to say all of those things to the other Barbies. That's the key. Got it. But how are we going to get the Barbies away from their Kens? We have experience with a world like this one. <laughs> <laughs> First, we have to get the Barbies away from their Kens. We could use a decoy Barbie who pretends to be brainwashed. That should be you. Cool. <laughs> Amazing. I love the scheming here. So hard, I just don't understand how to use the select tool. Honey. <laughs> My tiny head is just swimming with technical jargon, like color bands and magnetic lassos and bitmaps. Oh. <laughs> Let's deprogram the president. <laughs> I like how Alan can kick all their butts, but he can't manage to yeah. get around a fence. <laughs> it's time. I'm ready. Thank oh. you. A little Chanel purse. Stereotypical Chanel purse. <laughs> no, very unstereotypical. <laughs> I was thinking, yes. I'm ready to be your long term, distance, low commitment, casual girlfriend if you'll still have me. Okay. Come on in. I'll play the guitar at you. Oh, yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But like, damn, Ryan Gosling really got cut for this. Oh yeah, he did. What beautiful song that you're playing. Did you write it? Yes. You want to sit here and watch me do it while I stare uncomfortably into your eyes before it happens? <laughs> <laughs> the plan is working. Uh oh. Destabilize Ken. On their egos and their petty jealousies, and you turn them against. This is exactly how you turn men against each other. We go to war. Against the Barbies? No, against the Kens. So we are the Kens. 
What will we fight with? We have no guns. Tennis rackets and volleyballs. And slap fights. Oh, <laughs> slap fights. They don't stand a chance against those weapons. Oh, Ken. Going to war. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wow, where did all these Kens come from? <laughs> ah. <laughs> and now they destroy themselves. You know what I think? I think we should put our freaking constitution back. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, but other men are coming from Mattel. Ah! Melta Sastron! <laughs> wow. <gasps> Dance off! Oh, oh my god, yes! <laughs> this is so awesome! <laughs> oh, we're friends again! Were we supposed to vote today? What? Change the constitution. Oh, that was today, wasn't it? Yeah. But we're in the middle of a dance off. All those in favor of letting Barbie Land be Barbie Land, say aye. aye. Never give up, never surrender. Aww. Aww. And the Barbies reunited a mother and a daughter. Oh, uh, yay, Alan! Hopefully Alan will never have to sit on another leather couch. <laughs> but what do we do about the Kens? Maybe they have to get deprogrammed? We've reinstated the Barbie Land Constitution to what it should be. And restored all the Barbies' brains and autonomy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me! Oh, it's okay to cry. I always thought this would be our house. Aww. <laughs> Still could be. I'm just another blonde guy who can't do flips. Oh. Mm. Ken. What are you doing, Ken? Calm down. It's time <laughs> to discover who Ken is. Okay. I think I get it. Okay. No, 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 no. This isn't the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I look so stupid. I look so stupid! No, you don't. You're not your girlfriend. You're not your house. You're not your mink. Yeah. Beach. You're not beach. Maybe it's Barbie and... It's Ken. <laughs> Ken is... Me! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? No. That's my boss. It's... Ah! Oh, Mitch. Gosh. I thought we discontinued her. Oh, that was the one that... Yeah. We can restore everything in Barbie Land to exactly the way it was. Mr. Mattel, I Please, just... Please, call me mother. No. <laughs> I don't think that things should go back to the way that they were. No Barbie or Ken should be living in the shadows. Or Alan. Yeah, or Alan. And one day, the Kens will have as much power and influence in Barbie Land as women have in the real world. Don't. Just go. I can't. Grow up and go. I have an idea. Oh my God, the daughter says, grow up and go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's okay to, to just want to be a mom or to want yeah. to be president or a mom who is president. He's taking the notes. <laughs> she just has a flattering top and she wants to get through the day feeling kind of good about herself. Is she describing herself? It's just describing every woman. Terrible idea. Yeah, that's going to make money. Oh. <laughs> What's her ending? What does she get? Well, that's easy. She's in love with Ken. Aww. No. I don't think I have an ending. That was always the point. I created you so you wouldn't have an ending. Aw. Baby, I am Mattel. Until the IRS got to me, but that's another uh, So you're a root handler, inventor of Barbie. Ah. Uh, Nobody looks like Barbie. Yeah. Except, of course, Barbie. Take a bow, honey. I don't really feel like Barbie anymore. Mm. 
Come, walk with me. Thank you. Oh, I am Kenoff. Humans make things up like patriarchy and Barbie just to deal with how uncomfortable it is. I understand that. And then you die. That part. So being human's not something I need to ask for or even want? I can just, it's something that I just discover I am? Yeah. Now feel. I used to float. Now I just fall down. I don't know how to feel. But So Barbie left behind the pastels and plastics of Barbie Land for the pastels and plastics of Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's in beige. <laughs> I had a feeling she was going to stay with that family too. That's yeah. Cute. I love that. Hi. Name? Oh, I'm um, Handler, Bar comma, Barbara. Barbara. Yes. Aww. And what are you here for today, Barbara? I'm here to see my gynecologist. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Yeah. That was like not what I expected. Mm -hmm. I'd heard a lot about the film already. And I think that the direction that they took with it was really good mm -hmm. because it's like, how do you make a movie about a toy? I feel like maybe with other toys like he-man or gi joe or whatever maybe they had stories but the thing with barbie is at least in my experience of playing with barbie is like you just kind of make up the stories yourself and that right. that's the whole thing with playing with dolls or with barbie i actually do like this approach that they went with it too because i wouldn't personally if i was writing this down on a piece of paper like how would i go about making a barbie film like do i go with a straight serious approach or you know do i go about with the tone that they went with and i love the tone that they went with yeah. in this film i really also love the self-discovery journey that we went on with margot robbery <laughs> i know i can't say with barbie's journey because everyone's <laughs> gonna be like wait which one <laughs> obviously no uh, it's Barbie. Uh, yeah, with it's Barbie's turn. It's just something like we can all relate to, I feel like. Just yeah. whether you're a woman or a man, just like what she was going through. I thought it was just very well earned in the end. Like everything that she was going through and what she was feeling. And I just really loved her performance. I mean, yeah. I usually do love her performances, but it was fantastic. I mean, film. she was so perfectly cast as yes. Barbie, I think, because she had just like the right balance of, well, obviously she's incredibly beautiful and she really does kind of embody physically what it means to be stereotypical Barbie. She just has a lot of innocence and heart as well, which I think was just really important for us to be able to relate to her because she was just so sweet. And Ryan Gosling as well did a he fantastic job as Ken. Oh God, yeah, no. And, and the chemistry between them was so electric. I, I think they were both so perfectly cast in this film. And I really liked too a lot of the things that she was going through and also too the whole thing about like just having meaning in your life and not like being the idea. Again, I just thought it was very well written and the direction too by, let's see if I get this, Greta Gertwig? Gerwig. Okay, Gerwig. <laughs> yeah. Again, I just, I love the approach they went with and the stylistic choices and the colors. Yeah. And I really just thought it was so elegantly made. The tone, if you weren't, uh, uh, like, because I, I did hear from some people uh, that I know, they didn't hate it. They just said the tone really threw them off, which again, I could understand why, like, tonally, like, like if you're just not what you were expecting or just like, you know, like it's it's not going to be for some people. Although I know yeah. like a lot of people love this movie and it obviously made more money than any Warner Brothers film rightfully deserved in my opinion. The idea of a Barbie film, I just think this was the right tonal approach that they took and it was balanced out properly as well because the really serious moments I think are, are properly balanced and it has that dramatic effect to where I'm so invested in this world and these characters that I, I really do give a damn. Before I kind of go into like all, all of that stuff, 
stuff. I just want to talk about like the set design and everything and like the, the costumes <laughs> and the makeup real quick because they really understood the assignment. Uh. Like the dream houses, the outfits, and then like just seeing all the different types of Barbie mm. being brought to life from like a classic very first Barbie that we see in the movie and just like the very first Barbie that mm -hmm. ever came out and just like the styling was so good with all of the props and everything. It was a delight to see. I imagine it must have been like a set designer or costume des designer's dream. Literally. To work on intended. something. Yeah. yeah. It was just so, so delightful to watch. Going back to that stuff about the tone and stuff like that, for sure, all of the like feminist stuff that they were talking about, like down with the patriarchy and all of that, it's not subtle. It's really not subtle. Mm -hmm. It's very much like this is the movie that we're gonna make and you're going to know about it. Mm -hmm. And like you, I have some friends who were like, I hate that about it. Like, I, I really don't like that they went this way. Why would you do that for a movie that is supposed to be about a kid's toy? It's about Barbie. I loved Barbie. Why would you do something like this? I actually really liked the angle that they took with mm -hmm. this. I think that they actually handled it really well because while it's talking about like feminism and like how difficult it is to be a woman sometimes and all of the expectations that are placed on us. It's like, be nice, but not too nice. Like, yeah. be a boss, but like also be able to be a mom and take care of everyone and be pretty, but not too pretty and like be smart, but like not so that it's intimidating and all of that. It's like, yeah, I feel like that stuff that most women have gone through or felt at least at some point in their, in their life. And so it's like, yeah, that is important to talk about. But I didn't feel like like the message was not inclusive. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah, I feel like course. Ken had an arc as well. I think that's the whole, was a very big theme of the film was self-discovery. Yeah. And like you're finding your meaning in life. And like you know? who you are. Who because you are, like yeah. the whole time they've like had this, you know, your Barbie. And so this is your role. And, and in fact, like, isn't it awesome that Barbie is so aspirational that she has so many different types of roles, but also you're Ken and you're just Ken. You're nothing outside of Barbie. And I read something really interesting about how it's kind of like a flip on the the male gaze yeah. thing where it's like usually in many stories that we've had it's like women are there at the service of men and like I am nothing if not like your girlfriend or your wife or whatever and it's like turned on its head here and he's like but I'm your boyfriend yeah and I'm yeah. nothing if I'm not your boyfriend it's like no Ken you are Kenaf yeah well like I wasn't agreeing with the whole world that Ken was creating in Barbie world yeah but like when Ken had gone to the real world obviously you know he'd seen some of the disgustingness of the real world but also too like he was being treated as a human being as well yeah. and people were being nice to him. He's like, what is this madness that's happening? I like it. And like, yeah. someone asked me what the time was. And I mean, you remember that first scene, how heartbroken he was when he just asked Barbie, like, you know, if we could hang out. She's like, it's always girls night. But again, I, like, that's the emotional core of the film. Like, I mean, she had an arc, he had an arc, and I, I love that about this film. And you mentioned, too, that some of the lines from, was it uh, Amanda Ferreira or what was the... Oh, America Ferreira. America Ferreira. Yeah. Adam. Yes, thank you. That monologue was so solid, so well, yeah. I mean, so well acted. I really, so I, well done. Yeah, I really liked a lot of those lines in there. And again, I can't relate to a lot of those things because I've never personally experienced them. But I, of course, I know exactly what she's referring to, and I can totally understand where she's coming from because I was agreeing with everything she was saying yeah. at the same at the same point. It hit me, even though I I've never again actually experienced these things. But I've no it again, was yeah, really, really, yeah, it was powerful. Yes. And I think like the, the stuff that made me cry, the humanity of it, like it's about Barbie, who's a doll, yeah. but it's also about being human, right? And of like course. that life isn't perfect and mm -hmm. we're all just trying to figure it out. And the idea of like, maybe it's okay to not have it all figured out. Maybe it's okay if you don't know who you are or, or what you want right now. Like the joy is in the journey and we can all figure it out. And maybe one day Ken will find a Barbie that actually wants to be more than friends yeah. with him. And that's okay. And, and again, just last thing I want to uh, go to is uh, with Margot Robbie. 
these Barbie. Again, going to her arc, just how she was so uncomfortable with change. And then, yeah. you know, with reuniting uh, the mother and the daughter and then just realizing that that's what being human is all yeah. about. We just It's uncomfortable. It's not fun sometimes, but that's what we do is, as we grow older and, you know, change is just a part of it. Yeah. Uh, whether we like it or not, it's just, it's part of being human. And I love that, that self-discovery that she went through in the film. And that's what made her become human and want to become human as she was learning to do it. I was just, oh, it's going to be Barbie. It's going to be fun. Yay. Yeah. It's going to be tonally a little all over the place, which is fine. I'm expecting it's Barbie, but I just wasn't expecting it to be so deep. I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I was expecting the the cool, vibrant colors and the great performances from these incredible actors and actresses and all that. And the amazing set design and all, all that stuff and some of the dance sequences. Which and the were all music great. as yeah, well. Yeah, the music was great. I was expecting all that. I just wasn't expecting to get like such deep characters and, and the self-discovery storyline and all that. So I was pleasantly surprised when yeah. it came to all those things. I totally understand why this film is making as much money as it's making, why people have gone to the cinema. I'm so grateful I got to do this reaction so you guys could, uh, and especially with the biggest Barbie <laughs> fan that I know. My only regret is I didn't get to do Barbenheimer. Uh, and I missed out on such an event. But again, I'm so grateful I got to do the reaction with, again, the biggest Barbie fan I know. I, so. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'm the biggest, but I'm definitely... The biggest Barbie fan I knew. big Barbie fan, for sure. <laughs> yeah, one thing that I was just thinking about as well, which I really appreciated, was just that the movie did bring up some of the problematic issues with Barbie that um, the, the young daughter was talking about. And that's something that's kind of been talked about a lot, especially like when I was growing up or like as as I was kind of aging out of Barbie, the whole thing about how she uh, is completely unattainable, like her body is not anatomically correct. A human woman had a Barbie body, like she'd probably fall over and not be able to walk because mm -hmm. her feet are too small and her waist is too small. And it's hard when you, when you have a doll that's perfect and you don't look like her. But I do think that they've really tried to make Barbie more inclusive now. But I think more than any Anything, and this is what I love about the message of the movie is that Barbie is aspirational. It's not that, I mean, yeah, you can say that she represents all women, all the possibilities, all the greatness that women could achieve, like all of the dreams that little girls and, and women might have. But I think in the end, it's like she is that inspirational <laughs> dream of like, you know, in, in Barbie land, everything is perfect. And like when you play with Barbie, it could be perfect or it could be a complete tragedy. Like yeah. when I played with Barbie <laughs> and like it turned into a soap opera <laughs> where like Ken fell off a building and died or so she thought, but then he came back and he was actually in a wheelchair. So I want to see that movie. So I want to see a Charis movie, <laughs> a Barbie. You know, it can literally be anything that you want and that's the joy of it. And I, I really, really enjoyed this film. So yay, hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for joining us. As usual, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications and upload this video. And we will see you next time. I'm Achara Kirk, Barbie, and this is... Andrew Flash Gordon Ken. Ciao!